I know. Hi, and welcome to another installment of Tormach Engineering Sneak Peek. Uh, we've got Matt here today, and he is going to talk about a new attachment we have to our duality lathe. Take it away, Matt. Hi, Andy. Uh, we've actually been talking about this for a while. Uh, people have asked when it will be ready. Uh, the answer is uh, it's ready. We have uh, an attachment, an accessory to the duality lathe, which you see here on the mill bed. It mounts to the back of the lathe headstock, and basically it's a stepper motor and gear reduction that engages a gear on the spindle that pokes out through the back of the headstock. So the idea is you can turn your part using the CNC features of the duality lathe, engage your fourth axis, and you can get a true simultaneous fourth axis cutting pockets, keyways, uh, helix, uh, whatever you like. Great. Um, can you uh, show us a little demo of how it works? Sure. Basically, uh, as I said, it's just a, simply a stepper motor. Uh, there's a gearbox here and additional gears here. What you do is you pull out the release clamp, make sure our main clamps are loose. Make sure the gears are engaged. Clamp the bottom one and the rear one, like that. And that's really all there is to it. It plugs into the mill just like a regular fourth axis kit would and is functional just like a regular fourth axis kit is. Okay. How about uh, just spin it around a little bit? Sure. The software functions just the same as though you had uh, one of our regular fourth access kits. Cool. Anything else uh, we need to know? Yeah, uh, there are some differences between the duality lathe fourth axis and our typical fourth axis, uh, which you see here. This is our motorized rotary table that we sell as a kit with a, a driver and wiring. Uh, this is a, a more robust design. This is going to be for heavier cutting, heavier materials. Uh, however, uh, you obviously can't use that on a duality lathe. So the duality lathe fourth axis, its niche is really for people who are doing CNC turning and don't want to let go of that part to cut additional features in it. Uh, the other thing to note is it uses the same drivers uh, and install uh, wiring. So if you do happen to already have our regular fourth axis kit, you don't need to get uh, additional drivers. Uh, the same drivers will work with this setup. Very cool. Thanks, Matt. No problem.